Greetings everybody. So today I'm going to go over the setup procedure of the wise band and then I'm going to go to step by step to show you every detail of what the app has to offer. So the wise band comes with two straps. One that's already installed and it has the, you know, the punch hole kind of feature where you put the little tab inside the hole to snap it in place. Now, if you don't like this kind of strap, then you can always replace it with the replacement strap that comes into the package, which is the regular watch band style where you actually put it through and snap it in place. And then you have the little clamp to keep it on. So if you like this style, then you can always switch out the bands, especially if you don't like this kind that snaps into place with the little pin. Now I'm gonna leave this one on for now, just for the sake of setting this thing up. So. I'm going to go ahead and put it on. So I'm going to switch over to my phone so we can set up this wise band. So let's switch over to the app and then we're going to add a device. So we're going to click the plus sign, add device, stroll all the way down till we see the band. And then it's going to tell me to select the number. Okay. So now it's in the process of pairing and it said confirm. I got an okay on the screen and on the band itself. And then it tells me I can stroll down and get some other information like the activity, the shortcuts. I can see run, alarm, and no data, heart rate, find phone, settings, and then I'm back to the main screen again. So I can swipe left and right to access other functions. And then I can get my heart rate. I can check my heart rate to see what that looks like by hitting the little button at the bottom. And if I want to return to the home screen, I can click that little bar at the bottom. And then it tells me I can hold down the home button to access the Amazon assistant feature. Now it's telling me I got to set up my thing. So I'm going to allow it to access my Amazon service. And now it tells me I can actually hold it down and uh, start speaking. So everything is mirrored. So whatever is featured on the device is actually mirrored back into the app. So the information is equally the same. So a lot of these things that you can access from the phone, just like you can access from the device is going to be easier to manipulate inside the app. So the only feature you don't have access to is the Amazon assistant. So that's the setup procedure of the band. Now each one of these screen you see on the display has their own individual settings. So if I click on the first one, for instance, it's going to give me the option to customize the clock face. So I can choose the font color. I can change the display layout. I can change the background. And then once I choose one of the ones that I like, I can just save it. And then it's going to send that information over to the device and then it's going to update itself. And then it's going to have a new background, a new color or a new display layout. The next one down is activity. So if I click on that one, I can get a bigger picture. And like I said, a lot of this stuff is displayed on the device itself. Your phone display is just going to give you a bigger picture versus looking at the tiny screen on the device. So I can see my calories. I can see my sleep, my heart rate. And if I did any runs, it's got a weekly view and it's got a monthly view. So you can switch between those two. Let's go down to the next one, which is shortcuts. So if I click on that one, it tells me I can create new shortcuts. So if I click on that, I can name the shortcut and say, we're going to name it test and then we're going to add action. So I cannot select any product right now because I don't have any wise devices besides the scale. But if I had any wise lights or cameras or any other product that wise produce, then I could make shortcuts to control them with my band. So let's go back to the home screen since we can't do any shortcuts. And then the next one down is run. So in run, I got some options that I can choose from so I can be notified every mile and that's probably a buzz on my arm. Then I have the option to have the screen on at all times or I can receive notification. The next one down is alarm. So I can set alarms for a different time of the day and the watch is gonna buzz and let me know that the alarm is going off. Pretty standard right there, just like any other device. The next one down is the weather. So if I click on that, I have the option to make it switch location automatically and it already choose my city. I can choose the unit and then I can have daily weather reminders. So if I want to receive weather report every night at 10 PM, then it's going to let me know. Next one down is the heart rate. So since I don't have the band on right now, it's giving me no data and then I can change the interval. So right now it's set to 10 minutes, but I can choose 5, 30 or even 60. The next one down is find. 
So if I go into that one, I can choose between finding the device or finding my phone. And that's pretty much self-explanatory. So if I want to find my phone, I can just go to the device and it's going to give me the option to find the phone. And if I'm trying to find the device, then all I have to do is go to the phone, click on it, and then it's going to make the band buzz. Now the difference is the phone is going to be easier to find because it's going to make a noise versus the band that just buzz. So that's what it sounds like when it's trying to find the phone. And if I'm trying to find the band, so that's what it sounds like if I'm trying to find the band. Now if the band is on a hard surface, it's going to make some noise so it'll let me know that the band is in this location. So I'd have to get real close if it's on the bed or in a pocket or in my jacket or anywhere that's soft. Let's hope on the version two that they put a little tiny speaker in there that makes a little bit of sound so you can find the band easier. And last but not least, we'll go down to settings. So in settings, we got some option here we can choose from. We got raise to wake and you can choose a time frame that you wanted to wake up during that raising because you might not want it to shine bright in the middle of the night when you're trying to sleep then you can choose the battery level so if you wanted to show on the display when the battery level is getting to a certain point at least you can see it versus waiting for it to die the next one down give you the choice to choose which hand that you wear the band on and it's very important that you choose the right one because if you wear the band on your right hand but you choose the left hand the count is not going to be accurate. The next one down is notification. So if you want to go into your notifications and you want to choose different notifications that you want to receive on the band, then you have some choices here you can choose from. And then you can adjust the brightness. So right now it's set to high. You can tap it one time and it goes down to medium. Tap it again and it's at its lowest settings. Now even if you turn on the highest setting because that's what you like, you can go in here and turn on night mode. So it's going to lower the brightness at a certain hour. So if you turn it on, you can set that time frame that you want it to lower and then brighten up in the morning. Now on the display, it's saying the default time, but you can actually go in here and change it to your preference. Now on the night mode, you have the option to set the different time zone. Now if you think it's already set to automatic, then you don't have to worry about the time zone because it's going to change the time zone automatically. So you would only go into that setting if you want to manually change it. And last but not least, you have the option to reboot the device. So if it's acting up or it's not doing right, then you can just hit that button, reboot the device, and hopefully start working again. Now the Wise Band does come with a one year warranty. So hopefully it don't break within that year. As a matter of fact, hopefully it lasts longer than just a year. Now right below setting, there's a plus button. So if I hit that plus button, it's going to take me into another screen that gives me the option to take away some of these stuff or shuffle them. So if I want to see my heart rate right below my activities, I'm just going to hold on the three lines and then drag it all the way up and then let go. And that's how easy it is to shuffle things around. If I want to delete it, I can just hit delete. If I do delete it, it's going to end up here down in the more function. It's not going to disappear off the device. So since I don't have shortcuts, I'm going to hit delete on that one. And you see it goes down to more functions. So I'm going to move the weather up right on the heart rate because I check the weather frequently right there. And that's about it. So the only thing you can't remove is the clock face and the settings. You shouldn't be able to have the option to move those things anyway because those are the main function of the device. So before you get out of here, you got to hit the save. And even if you hit cancel, it's going to give you the option. Do you want to save it or get out? Now, there's one very last thing that I'm going to mention is those three dots in the top right. That's going to take you into seeing like the battery percentage. It's going to give you the device name and you can rename it if you want to. If you want to put a different name to it, I can say, for instance, charge band. And now, as you can see, the name is changed to charge band instead of wise band. I can update my health data, like my birthday and my weight and all that stuff. I can get device information. As you can see, there's a new update that I'm not going to do right now because I'm doing this video. So I'm going to do that later on, see what it's all about and uh, let you know about it later. I authorize this device so it can work with my Amazon assistant. I can report issues. I can check out the user guide. And if you decide you want to remove this device from your account, just hit the remove device. It's bye bye. Okay. So now that you see all the features of this wise band and what the app has to offer, are you interested in getting it now? Or are you going to wait for me to battle test it? Let me know in the comment section. So until then have a good one and I'll see you next time.